Hi, welcome to this tutorial on uh, new scraping and web content extraction. This includes everything you need uh, from uh, the home page straight to a document collection. And I'm going to demonstrate today uh, how this can work with a simple example. This is freely available software. The commands I'm going to show you today uh, are executed from Python. So you don't need to use terminal as I'm doing now, but you can the commands will work in Python as well. So this is the library, we just import it. And then we move on to the second section. So we're going to focus on news websites and blogs today. So um, it's not about general websites, it might work to some extent, but it's mostly about uh, new websites. And to do so, we're going to select a home page. In that case, um, The Guardian which is a British news site. So we know where the homepage is, we don't know where the fresh content is. First I'm going to demonstrate how we can first download and extract uh, the text, and then we're going to move on to the feeds. So first, we need to fetch the document. That's here. And we're going to store it into a variable. We'll just check that everything has worked. Yes, so we see lots of uh, HTML code here, lots of JavaScript. Um, let's try to extract text out of this. And it works. So here's basically text from the home page. Now, please note that we can change the format here we're going to translate it to XML um, and extracting text in this format allows for limited markup options um, in case you're interested. So it's not the main focus today, just showing that it works. And moving on to our main topic. So the thing is we need to fetch so-called feeds, uh, Atom and RSS feeds in order to collect fresh content. Um, the extraction will work seamlessly from the home page, so uh, I give it a try. Like I said, we still have uh, this Guardian home page. Then what we will do is import feeds module, which will help us perform all these operations. What we will do is um, fetch the feeds. To do so, we use this function. and we take the home page as a target. Something has been loaded, let's see why. We found feed URLs, indeed. It's a list, a list of uh, particular URLs, so um, this part works. Now, in case you already know uh, what you're aiming for, um, because you're aiming for a particular section of the website or because you already have a catalog of uh, RSS feeds, for instance, what you can do is just give straight the address here, for instance. In the case of the Guardian, uh, this is pretty self-explaining, it's uh, the main RSS page. And this will work all the same. So you can give the home page in case, in that case, the software tries to retrieve all potential feeds, or you target uh, a feed you already know, the uh, solution work. So now I'm going to move on to link filtering. Like I said, we have this uh, feed URLs. Like, uh, let's say we want to target part of the site. Um, we're going to be interested in uh, URLs which contain science um, within the URL text. So to do so, I'm going to do something Pythonic. It's called a list comprehension. So it's a list first, as we see here. So if we do this, it's exactly the same. It just returns the same list. That's not what we're after. What we're interested in is um, if science is in the URL. And we found one URL. Why not? It's a list, actually. Let's call it target. 
So we have one target containing, containing science. So we're now moving on to uh, retrieval and processing of the targets. To do so, I'm going to uh, import the functions we need. It will be shorter. And uh, we're going to use a list comprehension as well. So what we do is here, uh, just um, chaining the extract and fetch functions for each URL in the target. Let's see what happens. Now we have text uh, corresponding to the URLs we were interested in. And uh, we could change the format as well for uh, the configuration of the extraction to meet our particular needs as uh, been shown uh, earlier in this video and as you, you can find more in the documentation. Besides, what you can do is um, set up a cron jar uh, in order to retrieve feeds at regular intervals and then process the documents accordingly. Or you can use manual processing and um, back up your documents, uh, index them in a database, and then you all set up, you will have a fresh collection of uh, documents using Python and this library. You don't even need to uh, program a cron job from the start, from the scratch. Here, Graphene uh, Tool is also a command line tool. So by using this, we can see all the available functions and you will find the function you're interested in here. Um, you can actually use the command line interface to uh, use a, a, list, a list of feeds or a particular feed and then uh, either list it or uh, use it uh, directly to extract documents. I'm going to show how that works concretely. So here we are, we have uh, selected the feed option and we will list the URLs instead of processing them straight away. And here is what we get, a list of URLs. We can perform pretty much the same operation as we did in Python uh, with the command line by passing um, the URLs to grep and the same happens, we've selected one URL containing signs. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, if you want more information on this, please check the links below and don't hesitate to file issues or uh, contact me in case you need more information. Um, that's all for today. Have fun. Bye.